Hello, I'm going to show you how to use Above VTT, the Chrome extension that turns D&D Beyond into a VTT. Once you have it installed, you just go to your campaign. Here you should be able to see these new buttons. This button means to join as GM, and these buttons are to join as each of the characters. Once you do that, you just click here, and there you go. It loads Above VTT. You just click that away. So the next thing to do is to go to Scenes and add a scene. You can just go and you can choose from our free maps or D&D Beyond official content. If I go to free maps, I have hundreds and hundreds of maps that creators like Neutral Party and Dice Grimorium have put online for free. And we've just put them here. There's also hundreds of YouTube animated maps that we've put here. For example, this beautiful map of the Goblin Ambush in Lost Minds of Phandelver that is very commonly used. You can see the flies and the trees moving. Let's say we're playing something from the official module. So you click on D&D Beyond and here it will take a second to load and you have the drop down menu of all the different adventure modules. Let's choose, let's say Lost Minds of Phandelver. It will take a second to load. Here is the first map. That's the introduction. These are all the different chapters. You just choose whichever one you want. All the ones that are battle maps are already pre-aligned by our community. For now, we're just going to click Import, and then you click Save and Switch. If you want it to be covered in fog as you switch to it, you can just click Cover with Fog, and then you Save and Switch. It will load up already covered in fog. So if you're playing with your players, you can click that button first, and then switch to here. If you want to add your own maps, one way is to just find any map on the internet that you like copy image address, and then make a new scene, edit, post it in here. Then you should just click save and switch and it should be fine. But if the map is pre-gridded, I would use the Super Mega Wizard. So for example, in this map you see there's a grid already, so I can click align the grid. If there wasn't a grid, I would click create grid, or you can just rescale the image. So I will click align the grid, and I will try to put this tool over where I see the grid that already exists. Usually you might want to zoom in for this. Then in this case, it's not much needed because it's quite a small map. There we go, that's kind of good enough. There we go, that's pretty good. Press when it's good enough. Make sure it's five foot squares or 10 foot squares. And there you go. And then all you need to do is add the monster and it should snap to the correct grid. One of the main reasons to use D&D Beyond is because of their amazing character sheet. So as you can see as a GM, I can see all of my players here and all their characters. I just choose to add a token. There you go, here's my player. And I can choose to open their sheet. Pops out, loads up, and voila. Do anything you want. You can roll an attack, which would roll the dice and will be displayed on the game log right there. For all to see, you can roll with advantage, just like you can do with D&D Beyond. A nice feature is that you can click any ability and at the top you have this little button here that sends it to the game log. One of the nice things to do is conditions. You can click conditions and if I click on deafened here, frightened and grappled, then it should display on the character itself, as you can see right there. Another nice thing for the GM that we've added is that you can right click and add specific conditions like the concentrated condition which will mean that if the player takes damage like so there will be a reminder in the game log check for concentration to add monsters all you need to do is search for the monster you like on the monster tab click plus and you're done 7 hp 15 ac if you want to add them hidden you just right click and they come hidden select all your monsters Right click, add to combat tracker, open the combat tracker. You can click here to roll initiative, here to reorder their initiative. You can even open their stat block. From here, you can roll to hit, you can choose to show to players or not. Then you roll the actual damage. And you can even show them the monster art. Adding fog of war is very easy. Just click on fog, you can choose to hide everything and the players don't see anything. And then you can choose to reveal the sections you do want them to see.